Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Hello everyone My name is Deviar I'm from Mathematics Education Muhammad Dia, Professor Dr. Hamka University In this video, I want to tell you about mathematics topic The topics are interquartile range and interval So let's check it out In the quartile range or IQR is defined as the difference between upper and lower quartile values in a data set. IQR used as a measure of spread and variability of a data set. So the formula of IQR is Q3 minus Q1. Q3 is the middle of second half and Q1 is the middle of first half. So, let's get some practice calculating in the quartile range. Number 1. Find the IQR for the following data set. This is the data set. So, the first thing we want to do is figure out the median of the data set. So, this is we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So, we just have one of the middle number because the number is odd numbers. And then, uh, the numbers is going to be has 7 to the left and 7 to the right. And then, this is a 7 to the left and this is 7 to the right. And this is a median median or q2 and the next step is we are going to find the middle of the first half this is the first half first half we are going to find the middle of first half and this is a uh, one two three four five six seven seven so we have to find the middle of the seven numbers and the middle of the first half is three because three has three to the left and three to the right and this is q1 so this is the second half and we are going to find the middle of half and this is one 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 7, so the middle is 9, because 9 has a 3 to the left and 3 to the right, this is a Q3, so Q1 is 3, Q2 is 6, and Q3 is 9. And the interquartile range is Q3 minus Q1. This is IQR. So, it's mean 9 minus 3. So, the IQR is 6. Okay. Number 2. Find the IQR for the following data set. This is a data set. So the first thing we want to do is going to find the middle of the data set. And we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. This is even number. So we have two numbers in the middle of the data set. So we have this is. 5 and 6 because 5 and 6 in the list of the middle in the data set and for now the median is we have to plus two numbers this and we have to F range so uh, the Q2 or median is 5 plus 6 divided by 2 
and q2 is 5.5 and then the next step is we have to find the middle of the first half this is the first half and this is the second half the middle of first half is 3 because 3 has a 2 to the left and 2 to the right so this is a Q1 and Q3 is the middle of the second half and the second half is 7 because 7 has 2 to the left and 2 to the right so this is a Q3 and uh, the interquartile range and the interquartile range IQR is Q3 minus Q1 Q3 is 7 minus Q1 is 3 so the interquartile range is 4 ok An interval is a kind of a set of numbers. It's a set of real numbers. It includes all numbers contained between two numbers. The most popular way of describing interval is interval notation. To write the interval notation, two types of bracket are used is parentheses like this this is open uh, because the number is not included in the interval and in the number line the dot is empty and square bracket is like this this is a closed because the numbers in is included in the interval and the dot in number line is colored and example number one a is 1.5 this is a notation and i want to draw a number line this is a line so this is a parenthesis so the number 1 and number 5 is not included in the number line and then the dot is empty this is a 1 and this is 5 and this is a interval interval of A and in the n equality A is greater than 1 and a is less than 5 1 and 5 not include in a and number 2 here a is 3 point h so in the number line this is a square bracket so the 3 and the H is included in the number line so the dot is colored this is 3 and this is H so this is the interval of A all numbers not only integers but all numbers for from 3 until H and in equality a is greater than or equal to 3 and a is less than or equal to h the example number 3 a is 2.7 this is a square bracket and this is a parenthesis 2 uh, is included in the number line because the this is a square bracket and 7 is not included in the number line because 
this is a parenthesis and uh, in the number line 2 is color dot this is 2 and 7 is empty dot 7 and this is the interval interval A so in equality A is greater than or equal to 2 and A is less than 7 the number 4 A is 5.7 this is a parenthesis and this is a square bracket so 5 is not included in the number line and 7 is included in the number line so in the number line 5 is empty dot 5 and 7 is color dot 7 this is the interval of A and in equality A is greater than 5 and A is less than or equal to 7 in daily life interval we can find at the street light when a car moves continuously on a road it has to stop on approaching a red street light however if the street light is green so the car would continue moving without having to stop thank you for watching i hope this video can be useful for you all don't forget to like comment and subscribe and uh, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh